Okay, the old Tossin Armory is up ahead. Remember, the Commandos set a lift th there, heading straight up to their ship. If we can destroy their Phantom Hammer, we'll have to send down more ships, which buy us some time. For sure things first. There are heavy Commando forces just ahead. Try to find around them. Thanks, I'll see what I can do. By the way, I keep hearing strange noises around this control room, but it's probably nothing. Never mind. Ah, Dan, don't you remember what happened last time? Oh, wait. Hmm. Okay. Just be safe in there. One more thing. Things are going to get very dangerous from here on. I really think you should upgrade your health as much as possible, okay? Don't forget that it's our most important stat. Well, I'll take that to heart. Two more? And you know what? I'm not gonna care about health anymore for the rest of the game. From here on out, it's the Kamado because... Well, my Kamado stand because... Well, I want to get the ultimate weapon before we, um... Complete the game. It's the only way to avoid the... Assassin, um... Asha, speaking of assassins. Expect a soldier to be more violent. You've got some useful abilities, and I think you benefit from a little help as well. Keep walking in your path, and we'll meet up later. Look for a teleporter in Sector 9. And Saxi. That's new. So, let's see. It was something in Sector 9? Look for a teleporter in Sector 9. That is actually very important information to know. Anything here? Ain't afraid of the bees? Speaking of the bees, I've learned something rather disturbing about them. Apparently, they used to be regular commandos, but they were mutated. Rogue Assassin. It doesn't matter if you're certain that Assassin and Saxi has turned again and some of our leaders. We don't have time to investigate it now. She's already deep enough in technology theft and weapon smuggling. Let Asha take care of her. Hmm, so Anne Saxi is a traitor. Maybe she can help us out. Yeah, I hear ya. You say... I absolutely do love how they just scream kill. I was wondering if you were gonna blow up your camera, but that's not gonna be the case. Uh, you, you take each other out. There's the beast. I guess they already took care of the tossers. Get up here, okay? Thank you. More Tossins. So let me get down here. Ow. Let me get the fuck up there, you little shit. Thank you. Armor over there. Let's go ahead and grab it. This is the armory, and that's the left of the commando ship. Get the armor upgrade in here. Be careful as you can in the ship, and try to find the phantom hammer. Remember, I can't talk to you in there, and I have no idea what the weapon looks like. So you're on your own. Good luck. Don't worry, Dan. I think I can do this. Another up armor upgrade. Like I said, we're going to be upgrading our Kamado. We don't really need to upgrade our health much more. So it's just Kamado, Kamado, and Kamado all the way out from here. Out from here, well, here on out. It's the same turn. Don't question my language. Alright, first Kamado point. Still can't pick up any Kamado weapons yet. But it's a start. Anything about the... 
Okay, nothing about the human anomaly. Thing up here. We go first. Ah, it does say something about the human anomaly. Not to sound indifferent, but we're out of scouts here. They were the first to go when the Komodo stormed us, and they didn't exactly have much of a chance. I guess the only people left standing in a while will be the elite, and that human anomaly. How powerful is she anyways? What are her motives? Soldier Fatihilika says the anomaly is not the one who killed Kotera or the or called for the Komodo. But I trust the majority on this one. So Fate Teiga is still on our side. That's interesting. Well, up to the Komodo ship. It's pretty cool that this elevator actually goes outside. Komodo's... I think it said Komodo um, Phantom Hammer Reserve or something. And that matters. Taco incident. Okay. Anything here? Nope, just another elevator. Now I use this teleporter. Anomaly, it's I been a while. Uh, I was actually wondering why there was a toss in up here. Yeah, remember me? Sector 3? The truth? I don't care what you've been up to since then, even if you shot any Tosin. Anyway, I snuck into the ship trying to find some good weapons. But to be honest, I didn't dare go any farther. What? You're trying to raid the Akamato ship alone? <laughs> Much like yourself. I like you, human. You got some serious guts. Tell you what, I've been all sorts of things in here, so just give me a tap on the shoulder with C, and I'll fill you right up with some health and ammo. All I want in return is a tiny bit of nano. I'll be around, so no rush. So basically, she's going to be a health refill station. Now, so I'm going to do so because I'm not going to spare any nano. But hey, little reward for being pacifist, eh? Oh, there are beasts down there. Isn't there an assassin up here? No? Database. Well, here's the way to the poster. And it helps skip a good section. Hyper Pulse Disassembly. was below so I can take down this terminal and jump right back up through this ventilation shaft uh, assuming that this is what they call ventilation assuming this is what Komodos call ventilation shafts it opens the door over there excuse me there's an assassin over there, but it doesn't seem like she noticed me. Oh, wow. I'm calling the Tossins guys, even though that they're all female, and then calling the Kamados she's, even though that they're all males. More gender confused than the character from Undertale. The main character. Okay, just talking about the hyper turret game. Excuse me, I'm just gonna speak by you, okay? I was 
wondering, is the assassin still going to chase me here? I guess it would make sense. It is their show. Self-destruct issues. That's a land on the hand by dead berserkers. Yeah, so berserkers will um, explode just so the Tassins don't um, get their hands on the weapons. Get her! Fatati Yika is still up there with the teleporter. That it matters. Learn to count. Okay, it's just talking about counting and Nikamato terms. Because you know they're counting base three. Floor hatch open. Just talking about Eosa. Just a question on how to open that. All oh, right, floor hatch. You don't have to open it because we got a floor hatch. And unfortunately, an assassin. Well, here's a phantom hammer. Crack level of 30. Okay, and that's took care of the Phantom Hammer. Fortunately, the beast isn't gonna move, is he? I didn't fall below. That's all I really care. The beasts are really on my tail. I know that was not intended to be a pun. Okay, here's the sentinel. Sensor robots, it doesn't matter if you kill them or not. Which is good because we're coming up on a sentinel boss. Come here! There's a Phantom Hammer we destroyed. Can't take care of that one. But hey, we're coming up to the ribbon and thankfully I remember how to get the ribbon. Yeah, it has nothing to do with the teleporter. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It's me, I destroyed the huge weapon up there. I think it was the ha dumb Hammer. Fantastic, they'll give us more time. I told you I could do it. It's good to see you're gaining more confidence, sis. Look, I know what you're going through, so I'm sorry for all this. Well, what's this all of a sudden? You don't have to you don't have to apologize. I feel I finally understand what's going on now. I feel more determined. When I headed up into that ship, I could see all the way to the horizon. Or what's left of it. Look, don't let that distract you. We need to get the commando out of here. Then we can worry about the rest. You're right, just standing around talking won't save anyone. I gotta get moving before they catch up to me. Talk to you soon. That's a little detail there. Every time you talk to Dan, there's a camera. Almost there. Dear Logbook, I'm getting worried. This must be the girlfriend. The real silence is over, but I can't reach my girlfriend. They say I should wait for the battle reports, but I don't think I can wait that long. The adults and I are almost at the place where we'll set up the defense base. And as far as we're all in line, we've got our turrets, supplies, and parts of bulkhead doors to make sure that nothing can get into our base once we set it up. I'm learning how to reprogram turrets to make them fire at the Kamado rather than the humans. I've heard about it I've heard about that human anomaly, and I hope she'll beat the Kamado before the night will strike this place. And I hope the Kamado will have reached what the humans call Sector 3. My girlfriend was stationed there when I last heard from her. Well, I didn't kill anyone in Sector 3. 
My friend, Fatty Elika, told me that she's the one who killed Cortera, not the anomaly. I tried to keep it a secret, but the rest of my group found out. They're not angry. Have you a typo? They're not angry, Av Bate Lilika, though. Instead, they want to meet the anomaly and talk things through with her. Nice! We've made a friend! Alright, well, I can use a nuke to go to that teleporter. <laughs> well, I've learned my lesson last time. That's not the way to the ribbon. No, don't you understand? I'll use this invincibility to get by the beast. Mark Amado. Hey, I can still get the ribbon! Nice! And Dan's here, so he can talk to me about this ribbon. Another dead end. Another ribbon, somehow. I don't even care if I'm seeing things. At least I can catch my breath again. EG is me. How are you doing? You've been fighting for a long time without food or sleep now. She's a psych boar. She doesn't need that. Oh, actually, I haven't noticed. I've been thinking about Mia and you. It's just kept me going. Mia. Yeah, you know, I could always rely on her. And Mon left, and I had to take her place. Mia still looked up to me. It made me feel better. I don't know why you and me were never closer, but... <laughs> Mia was so young. And a girl. He always took her side. Uh, Dan. Yeah? You're not angry, right? No, no, don't worry. We were only kids. But we're family. You're my little bro, and... I only ever cared about Mia. I'm sorry, that. Don't apologize. It makes you look weak, sis. I always looked up to you. You gotta hold your head high. We don't have time to argue about this. Thanks, it makes me feel better. Talk to you soon. Right. Seems like there's a bit of family tension. Lesson learned. Don't choose favorites. Alright, time to use the invisibility to get the heck out of here. I did not kill Vatidika! That's actually pretty funny. I didn't know the elevator could do that. And unfortunately, it sounds like the beast got him. Oh well, it's not blood on my hands. the beast down there. Actually, I think the beast can still jump up here. Ah. I just want to pick up the nano. Don't worry about me, okay? Ow. Oh my god, I was right. It can jump up here. I was wondering if there was going to be a Kamado instead. That if I could upgrade my Kamado here, but not that it matters. I don't have any paints to use. Here's the exit. Man, I just... Man, now that the lag is gone, I just feel like a more enthusiastic in my commentary compared to the previous videos. <laughs> What? Identification! One! Oh, my name's E.G. and... Identification on specimen failed. Terminating. Damn it! Okay, and wait for it to target on to me. Shoot. Come at me. 
kick. Now let's get underneath Proxima. I just want you to come down here. Chase after me. There we go. Ah, uh, it didn't get in there. Well, let's give me another advantage by taking care of this. That blaster, splinter gun, devastator, splinter, grenades. Kick, and another kick. I believe it was charging up a nuke there. All right, one more hit. Uh, I didn't realize that I had to wait for a charge period. There we go. to give me more of advantage, so let's take care of the right one. It's so nice that you're a robot and not a person, because that means I can kill you without having to ruin my pacifist run. Ow. Kick. And kick. There is actually a way to um, destroy it, and if you do manage to destroy it, you do get another supercharge, just like when you defeat Asha. But I can't really do that. <laughs> Whew, that was tough. Looks like the security is getting more extreme around here. I gotta get moving before they send down more ships and nail the planetary shield generator. Yep, as you can see, defeating Proxima does not count as a kill. Alright! Next time, we'll take on Sector 8. If you like this video, feel free to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, it really helps, and feel free to leave behind a comment. Okay, next time, we'll head off into Sector 8. See you guys! next time.